the Vintage Vertigo Network. Today on, on this soundbite of the day, I am presenting 6X and Hammer 666, a.k.a. Tarl Warwick of Rutland, Vermont. I'm presenting his dire prediction of the, the way internet monopoly firms uh, right now in place that are, are moving stuff to the cloud can gain control over information, uh, can gain control over everything to the extent that you no longer have it physically or even ha maintain control over it. This is a dire and frightening warning. It's something that I've seen coming for a while. Uh, it's one of the reasons I don't like the cloud, don't like to use the cloud. I want to urge everyone, just as six, six Hex and Hammer does in this video, I want to urge everyone to start archiving, downloading, burning as much as you can on the disk, whatever it is, a PDF, an ebook, your videos that you've created. Everything you have needs to be archived into hard copy. Anyway, listen to Six now with his dire warnings. We're clearly moving in a direction where the mainline tech firms are trying to make everything on their sites and their apps proprietary, which is that in, in five or ten years, you will no longer have a computer that's locally storing things. Its local storage will be very limited. It'll probably be subject to TOS, whereby even the local storage will be synced to a cloud automatically and your local storage can be deleted too. I am telling you, if you take seriously at all my predictive abilities, you will begin archiving as much material, books, number one, uh, music, definitely. <laughs> Do it totally legally, by the way, don't, don't pirate any music. Movies, uh, films in general, YouTube material and so forth, independently made or otherwise, uh, text in any way, even, even pictures. Archive it. Put it on storage that is secure and is under your control. And by the way, have a computer that is not running Windows 10 or any modern uh, Apple build or anything, or even modern Linux build, I believe now. Uh, have something that is capable of being used as a standalone platform to submit and download material autonomously without being synced to a million clouds and, and other spyware and stuff. It's really, really what, what is being done is the few dozen largest firms have created uh, the ultimate monopoly. It's sort of like a Skynet sort of thing. They are fast moving towards the music that you've downloaded isn't actually yours. You no longer have a file that you technically own or have paid for and now, and now you've purchased it and it is physically yours. It's proprietary, it's at will. If you do the wrong thing, you can be kicked off. This is why these sites now, sites that have nothing to do with content creation directly will kick you off if you do bad content creation, if you're engaged in wrong thing. If you're engaged, you know, e-commerce sites will kick you off if you made a video that's too edgy. You made music that was too edgy and your bank all of a sudden cancels you. Every, it's the internet of everything now. Everything is being synchronized together and the ultimate goal is to create internet identification, no more anonymous posting of any kind. A situation where a handful of corporations which have been granted complete monopolization will run everything. Everything else will be at least indirectly subjugated to them. Computers will no longer be able to autonomously function. And so what I would say is that any step towards decentralization is good. Any step towards greater anonymity is good. Any step towards locally archiving material is good. And people's uh, ability to manage their user data is good. Dependent content creation across the board and decide to be the next Netflix. YouTube tomorrow could say, okay, the time of independent content creation is over because it's commercially not viable. So anyone that's not getting a certain amount of new subs or whatever, some arbitrary threshold, we're just kicking them off the site. And I could run afoul of some new TOS, even if I'm covered right now, my ass is covered under YouTube's TOS. Will it be next month? Will it be a year from now or two years? Will YouTube be around in two years? I don't know anymore. I wish I knew the answers to those things, but I am predicting that there is a shift away from people owning their own computers, their own apps, their own games. Games are proprietary now. Gaming companies will shut you off from gaming if you made a bad review or did something naughty. I mean, that's it's asinine. It's, it's amazing to believe that this could possibly be held up in the court system as legal in the first place. Apple uh, got smacked down when they tried to keep people from jailbreaking their phones. How is it any different? We're going to need a lot more interference by the judiciary branch in the United States if we're going to have any hope of promulgating the basic rudiments, not even the more expansive definitions, but just the basic auspices of the concept of free speech and privacy. They are basically dead online, and a lot of people don't even realize it. 
No, their right to property is basically being violated on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of these companies make you sign 20 pages of legalese to use an app or a device, and you don't own anything on it. Your interaction is at will. They can remotely turn off your fucking phone. Is that not uh, dystopian? Yeah, the device that you use to make payments at the store and contact your relatives and call emergency services and interact with all of your friends and family at a bare minimum, let alone maybe your fucking whole career, you can just be tomorrow shut off completely from all of it. You disappear. Stalin style. 